watching the award-winning GHS-TV, a nationally recognized student television station. Welcome back! Coming up on GHS Insider. Summer's over. Take out your books and pens. The new school year is here. We've got a look at all the first day festivities. The football players are the stars of every game. But who preps them on the gridiron? We'll introduce you to the football coaching staff. Coaching is teaching, and both require relationship building first. And the hot seat is back. Can our new vice principal handle the heat? These stories and more are just ahead. Welcome to a new season of GHS Insider, the show that's all about the G. I'm Chris Pina. And I'm Kendall Stewart. We are so excited to be here. We are two weeks into the new school schedule and one week into this new Tuesday-Thursday block schedule. And that's not the only big change. This year, GHS Insider will come to you live every two weeks, giving you an inside look at everything happening around the school. So, Kendall, take it away with our first story. Thanks, Chris. School spirit was on display during the first day of school. GHS started the school year with the annual walkthrough pep rally. On the way to first period, students were greeted in the amphitheater by our band, dance team, cheerleaders, majorettes, and SGA officers. Freshmen got a glimpse of what we can expect at this year's football game. Which, by the way, the football season kicks off August 23rd in a home game against Raleigh, Egypt. The new superintendent, Dr. Marie Fagans, was also here on the first day of school. Dr. Stencil and GHS student representatives gave her a tour around school, and she got to see some of the ways we celebrated the first day of school. Before students returned to campus, GHS TV's Calvin Nicholson sat down one-on-one -on -one with Superintendent Fagans and asked her for an update on the new high school. Here's what she had to say. You know, we are in the process of, of designing, uh, looking forward to see uh, how do we move to the next stage uh, and ensuring that both are, are able to be opened. As the commitment was made prior to me, I want to be able to honor the same. Initial drawings for the new school were submitted to the county in May, and approval of the land purchase was supposed to be improved in June. However, the cost of the school has doubled since the new school was first proposed. How, of course, if there are any developments on this, we'll let you know. We have our very first hot seat of the year, and it is hot as ever. Taking on the challenge is Dr. Gore, our newly appointed vice principal. Dr. Gore has been a staple at Germantown for more than a decade. Let's see if he can survive the hot seat. Dr. Gore, you're in the hot seat. Are you ready? Your time begins in three, two, one. Favorite holiday? Thanksgiving, my wife's good cook. What would you do with a million dollars? Probably save about half of it and then spend the rest of it having fun. Favorite musician? I liked MXPX in high school. What would you choose as your superpower? Uh, pausing time. If your life was a sitcom, what would be your catchphrase? You're suspended. Favorite celebrity? I don't know. If you had to pick one food to eat for the rest of your life, what would it be? Chess pie. Favorite animal? Dog. If you had to teach a class, what subject would it be? Spanish. Morning person or night owl? Morning. How would you describe yourself? Organized. If you were an Olympic athlete, what would be your sport? High jump. What is your go-to food? Kit Kats. Favorite movie? The Matrix. Favorite way to travel by? Car. What is your biggest pet peeve? Pass. Favorite hobby? Fishing. If you had a time machine, would you go into the past, present, or future? The past. What is the worst thing you have eaten? Uh, crickets. What are you looking forward to this year? Um, hopefully a smooth year with kids behaving like they are. Congratulations, you survived the hot seat. In today's Campus Corner, we are letting you in on the exciting events and activities planned for this school year. There's been many questions on what's up for the seniors, and we're here to answer them. 
Leading this initiative are the officer of the Student Government Association. Today, we're speaking with the SGA President Aaron Johnson to get the inside scoop on their plans for the year. Thank you so much for coming on to the show, Aaron. Thank you. So, Aaron, I imagine it can be nerve-wracking being a student leader. So, tell us, how does it feel to be SGA President? Well, I would say I'm very excited about this role, but I know it's a huge responsibility, and I hope that I can take this role seriously and exemplify leadership and kindness. Now, Aaron, as we know, SGA is all over senior activities. So what can the class of 25 expect this year? Well, what's coming on really soon is our tailgate. Homecoming is also in a few weeks, so I'm looking forward to that. Sounds fun. It sounds like the seniors have a fun year, but what about the underclassmen? What can they expect from this year? Well, club flair is coming up, and we also have a pep rally next week, and those events will be really fun for the underclassmen. Now, it may be a little too early to ask, but do we know the exact date on homecoming? September 23rd through the 27th, I believe. Amazing. And finally, is the SGA planning any new events that we haven't seen in the years past? Well, I guess we'll have to wait and see. Exciting. Erin, <laughs> thank you so much for coming on to the show, and good luck on your SGA events this year. Thank you. Looking at other important events around school, you have a chance to get more involved at GHS. The annual GHS Club Fair is this Thursday, August 22nd. It will take place during all four lunches in MGIM. There, you will have the opportunity to sign up for a variety of clubs and organizations. Club members and advisors, you can set up for the fair beginning at 10.30 a.m. on Thursday. Want to try your hand at acting? Try out for the fall play. Auditions are this Wednesday, August 21st, and Thursday, August 22nd at 2.30 p.m. in the theater. The name of the play will be announced shortly. If you don't want to act, but want to be involved in theater, attend the first drama club meeting. It will be Wednesday, August 28th at 2.30 in C141. Anyone who's interested in joining or wants to learn more may come to this meeting. The Bellmaker bonus is back. For those new to GHS, we like rewarding good choices. One way we do that is through the Bellmaker bonus drawing. Every day you're on time and present, you'll receive one entry into the daily prize drawing. And at the end of the year, there will be a big grand prize drawing. The more you're on time, the better your chances of winning. The Germantown Red Devil Band is preparing for a jam-packed year, practicing over the summer for their field show and stand routines. From 8 to 3 almost every morning in July, the Red Devil Band has been working hard on their field show music. The band aims for bigger and better this year, starting with a new musical lineup. This year's field show features popular songs by the Outkast. Veteran band members say field shows have improved since their freshman year. Um, it's been difficult because we were just starting out as like a school band, like an established community. But now it's getting easier as we have more experienced marchers, better music, better tools, and we know how to navigate the season more. Come out and support the band during their first competition on September 21st at Arlington, and make sure to bring that Red Devil pride. The Red Devil football team hopes to go to the state champion this, this, this year, but it will take cooperation from both coaches and players. Everyone knows head coach Gene Robinson, but do you know the other coaches? Reporter Chloe Brady and videographer Tyler Curry get an inside look on what each coach does. I'm king three to two, okay? We locked up right there, now we got spell. Uh, everybody loves him. Everybody loves Gene. Me and Coach Gene, we got a real personal relationship from Fairly. He he very understanding about anything. Say, I don't know, coach, I want in the middle. When we clean up and feel, that's when I want to be here. Yes, I think our um, coaching staff, much like any team, um, is a team within it. team. They differ. You know, we, you, you have a young coach and coach, Garrick Jones, who's in, in a new role, is becoming in his own as offensive coordinator. Then you have a um, defensive coordinator in Earl Harmon, who's an older, more veteran guy. Everyone has their own style. You know, I, I think in coaching, you cannot try to be someone else. I want this left shoulder pad on his hip. Coaching is teaching, and both require relationship building first, because kids don't learn from people that they don't have a relationship with. They have to believe that you actually care about how they are doing. If a kid is not comfortable asking you for help or advice, then you can't be a mentor. And if you're not a mentor, you're not really a coach. Part of being the best coach that you can be is being whatever those 
young men and in the classroom what those young ladies need you to be. Come on, we got bad to judge. We got these, these dumbs a little fat up. Pick your feet up. Um, not just thinking every guy was would be how I was as a player and just learning how to, uh, I guess, go through each player and learn their personalities. Boom, foul, three hard steps, three hard steps, get out. We also work hard and just as a football team, it's just really, that's the ultimate bond thing, just going out there, uh, seeing your brother through blood, sweat, and tears, and, and I mean, it's just, that's bonding within itself. When it comes to football, everybody is serious, and we're all trying to work together to achieve our goal, which is to win a state championship. We going to state for sure. Oh, I feel like we're going to state. G-Town, one town. One, one town, two. In honor of the new school year, Dr. Stencil has this message for all students. Hey students, welcome back. Very excited to start another school year at Germantown High School. By now we've had our class meetings. You've gotten to meet everybody that you need to know from our police officers to our administrators to our guidance staff. Very excited to have everybody back. Let's have an awesome year. We hope you enjoyed the first GHS Insider this year. If you have a story or school announcement you'd like to see, scan the QR codes around campus to submit your idea. And remember, you can follow us on Instagram. Our handle is GHSTV. Next week, tune in for the year's first Red Devil post game, and we'll see you in two weeks for another GHS Insider.